Hi, everybody. I'm Valerie Hunt. And I'm Andrew Childs. And on this episode of The Hunt is On, we get to talk about the cast announcement of Drag Race UK vs. The World. What? We talk about all of our favorite divas, who might be the villain of the season. And afterwards, we talk a little bit about season 14 and RuPaul's Drag Race. We also did this whole episode live on a Twitch stream. And stay listening to this episode for all the fun tidbits about Drag Race. Click the link tree. Oh my god. Hi there. We at The Hunt is On would like to acknowledge that we are currently living, working, playing, and recording this podcast on traditional territories of the Black Blackfoot Confederacy homeland, which consists of the Tsiksika, Gnai, Pakani, Tsitsina, and Stony Nations. We recognize the many nations who call Monkinsis their home, which include the Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3 within the historical Northwest Métis homeland. Anyway, we're talking about UK versus the world, and uh, <laughs> I, I don't know how I feel. I sound like Grape Lady. I don't know how I feel about the full graphic of this like it's pretty cool i like the idea of it and everyone looks so good yeah, like there's no good. zero flops zero flops but um like the photoshopping of it like blue hydrangeas ball is like this like source of electricity oh my god it is and and then no one else kind of has a weapon which is interesting lemon has a weapon in this but not in any other promo shot she has a, a double balled mace which i think is kind of funny it looks pretty phallic yeah, and then we got Cheryl Hole, who has a shield, a Captain America. Hey, oh, wait, Cheryl, that's great. We'll talk about that. I fucking love Cheryl's look. Um, but yeah, the graphics for this was not it. It was not the one. I, you know what I mean? Like, I really enjoyed the Canada's Drag Race season two promo with like the Candyland energy. Thought it was super cohesive. I wish they all kind of got. I guess they all have their. I don't know. This is great. Everyone looks great. I have, I don't have many critiques. I, I can't really critique it because I'm not on it, but. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but get it divas everyone looks great um let's talk about the looks and everyone's little mini promo thing i actually pulled up on my phone i have my own technology andrew good uh they did these like superhero mortal Kombat character styles with their like the place they're representing the seasons they've been on their wow uh, and like two different things about them so as we go through i'll, I'll announce those all right but, so first off we're going to be starting with uk vega chips okay that's us. So she is stunning in class. <laughs> she is representing UK. <laughs> she was She's from UK one, and she had three maxi challenge wi- maxi challenge wins, and she won snatch game. Oh, work! I didn't realize that she had three wins. Right, and I she knew, has. I knew she came in third place. They were like, no, 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 it's going to be between yeah. Vivian or Davina. It's not going to be Vega. They did that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they they straight up were like, no, it's a top two. Yeah, they're like, get out of here. Yeah, right, good shit. But uh, she has five out of five laugh power and five out of five fame level, which I agree with. I think she's very famous in the UK. Like she's on everything, isn't she? Uh, on Twitter, yeah. she looks pretty active. Yeah, she looks I'm pretty, pretty sure active. she was. I'm pretty sure. Um, M, you're in the chat, so let us know. But I'm pretty sure no. that she was on oh, Big am. Brother in the UK. Um, I believe so. Uh, celebrity, right? Yeah, the celebrities. And then, yeah, she was on quite a few she's shows. She's like pretty. I feel like she kind of gives me like Courtney Act of UK energy because she's pretty. I was about to she's say Courtney Act. That's a Courtney Act. Uh, <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, Courtney Act because she was on a Big Brother. Yeah, I think that it's very, 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 very Courtney Act energy. Anyway, I think she'll do great on this season. I like the look. Bagel looks great. Yeah, stun. This is, if this is like um, Immortals or whatever, or Eternals girl eternals if this is eternals or whatever <laughs> this is it uh don't yeah. love the hair no um i'm not a huge fan of how much the hair is swallowing her and i will say that it's her mouth being open is giving me a lot of like season one vibes when her promo look from there oh don't judge people who open their mouths for promo shots don't judge that because <laughs> uh, oh i'm she's sitting not right in here this one, but i swear she was in one of them i i stand a queen with an open mouth in every photo because same girl <laughs> 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 my best angle is when my mouth is open. Um, mm-hmm. Baga looks great. Uh, yeah, I kind of wish the hair was different. I feel like when I think of Baga, not this hair is what I think of. Uh, but uh, I love the whole outfit. It's a, a full on, it's like everything. She looks great. She kind of looks like a scarab beetle. It's like those like jewel tones and greens and oh, golds. Like, kind of like a goblin beetle. queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> goblin. Okay. okay. I, I like it. I think Baga looks great. Uh, who's after Bags? Wait, she wasn't on Big Brother. She was on The Circle. Oh, she was on The Circle? I didn't work. I could see Bega doing like any reality TV. I could see Bega doing Big Brother though. Oh my God. And uh, yeah, I'm just she, thinking of Gemma Collins. <laughs> yeah, but like she, Bega could be the one to do Big Brother. I, I see it. I see it for her. 
All right. So next on the stage, we have another Amer or United King dog. No. Oh my gosh. We have another restart U reboot. Ugh. We have another UK diva, uh, Blue Hydrangea. Well, she was a a, a, a frock destroyer. That's what it was. Thank you. you. I got you, girl. <laughs> United King frock destroyer. Okay. Here's her stats as per the Mortal Kombat UK uh, versus the World promo. Uh, Belfast and Furious, which is really funny, <laughs> representing UK. Uh, seasons UK won. She had one maxi challenge win, and it was the girl group challenge. Uh, she has a five out of five painting skill and five out of five reading skill. I think that's all accurate. Yeah, and let's not forget her Mary Berry snatch game. Yeah, it was really funny. Uh it was crass. It was it was serviceable. <laughs> I started that with it was really funny. It was really funny, but it was like that just that entire snatch game season great. one of UK great the best great best snatch game the best that. hands yeah. down uh, no blue's great I'm excited to see blue back I think the looks will be amazing I think the makeup is a step up yes. and it was already like on a kind of another level when she got on Drag Race like she was the best makeup girl um, and this promo look is giving me like Atlantis like it's kind of giving oh, me oh this she won the promo for me oh for sure she's giving me like that mermaid uh, runway that they had in season whatever Oh, with Aquarius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they had to like, they had to be mermaids. Uh, <laughs> the, the mermaid runway. The, the mermaid. Uh, the one where, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, work. Uh, <laughs> I think that this looks like the protagonist to the series, and uh, Jimbo's uh, promo look is the antagonist. Okay. Like hero and villain. I get that. I yeah, get that. The purple Very and much. then the blue. I don't know. Blue looks really on brand because I think I know her for like this type of like white blonde hair, the super highlighted face. Her skin in her video is glowing. Mm -hmm. um, she's really funny on her season. Uh, her looks are great. She just had like the, her edit was that she had no confidence. So I feel like if she comes in here with confidence, what she have to lose? And I mean, after that, Mary Berry, how could you? Not and she, I think she probably was confident on her season, but I don't know. I feel like. Um, yeah, I think she'll do really well. She looks like she's going to yeah. do good. And the little mace, the little masse, yeah. The blue and gold together is always going to be a winner. And especially this kind of like aquamarine. It's her color. Blue. It's like it's her thing. <gasps> blue. Yeah. Oh my God. Her name is Blue. Blue. And, and <laughs> also, I just really Not love, this. I just really love the hip and the shoulder details. I love how it's really giving that figure that. Is it giving? It's giving. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls are giving. Oh, I love it. No, yeah, blue. I think blue kind of took it, and it just looks really detailed. Like uh, everything that she does, it's very, very detail oriented. So, mm -hmm. chef's kiss. Oh, chef's kiss. Hey, blue came in fifth place on the original season. Yeah, fifth place, great place to be. Fifth place is a, a really good position. I feel like that's like she's been set up. She's been set up. <laughs> Cheryl. Cheryl Hole. All right, I love this. She looks so funny in this little picture. Her little like face poking out from behind her shield. Oh my gosh, uh, you're gonna have to send me all of these. These are great. Uh, Cheryl Hold is quote unquote not threatened. <laughs> She's representing the UK. She had zero maxi challenge wins. <laughs> and she was uh, five out of five dance moves and five out of five laugh power. And uh, honestly, I agree. She's so funny. And I'm so happy to see Cheryl back on our screens. Are you ready for another week of being mediocre? mediocre. I just think she's funny. She was really lovable in her first season. Yeah. She was the blueprint for a horror. <laughs> Oh my god! Like she was, she came in as like someone who like I think everyone thought she was gonna be like an Alyssa Edwards wanna be, and she totally came off that way in the first two episodes. Like it, they were like mm -hmm. it was uncomfortable almost, mm -hmm. and then she was so good for the rest of the season until until the point where she went home, and I was like, I don't want her to go home. Like I, I think yeah, was, at that she point went, we, she was against Bag on. I was like, come on, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah, at that point, I was truly rooting for Cheryl just as the underdog. Yes, she, she came in fourth place overall yep. in the season. Yeah, so. From the UK, we have fifth, fourth, and third place of season one. Yeah, and honestly, all powerhouses because they've been touring and traveling and doing their numbers and their shows together and stuff. And do although you know Cheryl wasn't girl who uh, knows sixteen destroyer. different languages, who can get high half high kick split into a dip and fourth octaves. <laughs> Sorry, it was just the Davina. The Davina. Okay, like I was like, who are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would have loved to see Davina on this cast. That would have been a good addition. Uh, yeah, but that's what I'm like. If you're gonna do fifth, fourth, and third, why not do Davina, who's second place? I'm sure she was like, um, no. <laughs> yeah, she was, she was probably like, um, no. What did they call her? No. Um, I, I don't think. I also think that Cheryl's outfit's good. It's uh, Captain 
UK. Yeah. Uh, Captain Carter. Captain Essex. It's Captain Essex. Um, I like the whole like breast element of it. The little like panels. Only it's a heart. It's gorgeous. I think it's like, it's a pretty good look for Cheryl. I think she looks great. Um, and I like the hair with it. I think she is just so likable. She can do anything wrong except <laughs> in the photo for some reason. I don't like the shoe that she's wearing. I was it's like about to say it's a giant shoe. encrusted shoe with like a pink holographic snakeskin on the on the heel. I think is what it is. I clocked it. I did a I did a deep dive zoom earlier. Um, I've, uh, I've already seen a meme of someone throwing her promo image on top of the Chromatica album art. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this is giving kind of Chromatica too. Mm-hmm. Sort of. It's it's like Chromatica Marvel heroes from your res- like area. But she looks great. Uh, literally, no one looks bad. Uh, but definitely, I think out of the three girls from UK, Blues looked was the best. I would agree. I yeah. would agree. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, looks good though. Like that's a mwah, chef's kiss. She looks so cute. <laughs> Uh, so we have our first and only uh, Drag Race Holland queen, the queen from the Netherlands, Blech. Janie Jacquet. I think this is great. I didn't watch Holland. Um, you did. Yeah. Was she, it airing when I was away? No, no, it was not. <laughs> when? When did it air? It was airing during Canada's Drag Race 1 <laughs> or oh, right after. I missed it. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> let's, I'll say this. I missed if, it. If Envy Peru was not on Drag Race Holland, she would have won. It was Janie's twin, and she was runner up. So regardless, it was. Yeah, and I, I saw her final lip sync. She looked great. She had those big red the angel wings, 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 and so she gorgeous. did great. It was just, it felt like an Envy season to win. Um, it was definitely an Envy season to win, but I will, I will give Janie Jacquet the props, especially because she is bringing a lot of that like old school drag, but make it a little bit more new school. And I oh, really respect. So that. I didn't really get to know her because I didn't watch Holland all too much, aside from like clips, lip syncs, breakdowns. Watched her meet the Queen's video for this. So funny. She looks like she's ready to win. Like she yeah. was like. She was like, I'm just polished. I'm this. I'm that. I have no weaknesses. She really doesn't. She I'm, is a she, powerhouse. I believe it looking at her. Although, I, why why is she wearing a ram? Why the ram motif? Yeah, that's a good question. Like, is, is she like a an Aries or something? I was like, she must be an Aries. Because she also said something like, I'm ready to fight with fire or something. And I was like, fire side? Maybe she's like really into astrology. We just saw it on season 14 with uh, Carrie Colby. So, <laughs> I'm like, I wouldn't put it past anyone. I've, I could... Show up just like a virgin, I would too. Uh, uh, Matt B Y Y C in chat just said that it's the Dutch Rams. Oh, thank you, Matt. So it's Dutch it. Rams, everybody. Yeah, and <laughs> Janie is ten out of ten, fantastic. Love. She could win this season truly because yeah, I uh, can see from it. what I know of her uh, season on Drag Race Holland. Well, okay, give me, I'll. Drag Race Holland had no competition except for Envy and Janie. They were the okay. only two competition the entire time. And like I said, if Envy was not oh, there. Fuck everyone else on that season's drag. Truly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are we going to talk about that Kermit the Frog Miss Piggy look? Oh, oh wait, you don't my, know. You I don't do know, know the look. It's my favorite look ever. How dare you say something about that look in front of me? I love that look so um, much. Anyways, yeah, um, I'm here for Janie. <laughs> I'm so excited to see Janie on this season. Can't wait. Love, live, Ugh. laugh. Stan. Okay. Oh, yeah. She looks great. Oh, and did I do her power ranking thing? I don't know. I don't think I did. One sec. But come on, Dutch Rams. I already forgot. I already... I have one job. One. I actually came up with it. Uh, (laughs) uh, It's Janie JK, and she's Dutch Courage. Okay, girl. Okay. uh, Representing Holland. Uh, Holland season one, two maxi challenge wins, including the Rusical. So she's a singer, I assume. Uh, and a dancer because it says wow factor five out of five dance moves five out of five i i'm not gonna lie i repressed drag race holland's dancing because of that voguing competition you didn't see it they barely aired it itself good they they were not it's not the one i mean honestly anything was better i've just rewatched the musical episode of call me mother where we had to do all the the dancing audition oh yeah it's pretty embarrassing okay i mean it's pretty embarrassing so Relatable. Um, so after Janie Jacquet, we have our first Canadian <laughs> diva, my absolute favorite, my mommy, my Jimbo. Mom, Jimbo. It's Jimbo. We have Jimbo. Oh my God. This is so cool. Cause well, who do we just have on the hunt? The hunt is on. The hunt is on. Who do we have on the hunt? The hunt is on. We just last had ex- week. We just had Jimbo we on had Jimbo last, last week's week. episode. We had Jimbo last of week. The hunt is on for our premiere episode, which was sick, and <laughs> it was sick. It was so cool to have Jimbo, but uh, amazing now to see Jimbo on UK versus the world. 
Wow. And I am loving this purple moment. Yeah. Here's my my Ooh. critique of whoever shot this photo, though. The titties are so gorgeous and good. I wish I could get them a little bit from the side. Because oh, oh, you know what? That's true. Actually, maybe I can see it better in the photo I'm looking at now. But What's no, you're right. They were they were good. They yeah, were good to cause. Okay, let me get out my little my little trading card for Jimbo. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it, um, because look. So she's to the side, and look how fucking oh, that's yeah, those are they look so good, and like the shine on them. Anyway, uh, simply the breast, of course, representing Canada. Canada season one, one maxi challenge winner. She probably should have won a bunch of others, yes. uh, but she won the snatch game. Snatch game, <laughs> of course. Uh, and she has five out of five craft skills and five out of five laughed power. Uh, I think that I'll stand by my statement saying that I think Jimbo looks like the um, the villain to Blues hero yeah i i get that it's right. definitely like yeah if blue is the hero of the story jimbo is the villain of the yeah. story and i kind of got that from like her meet the queens and just the entirety of this like cast reveal it felt very jimbo's, jimbo's such like a whimsical fun character but she was giving like dark dark lady vibes in this because she had like those like those like yellow contacts in with the purple i yeah. think yeah yeah, yeah. which kind of gives her this sort of like she looks like an actual Mortal Kombat character. Like, took it to the next level. Love the little finger bits and yeah, tidbits. Finger bits are fun. Uh, and I like the elbow. I like that, it, yeah, the elbow goes up and it's like spiky and kind of bat like. Uh, the wig is amazing. She has such gorgeous earrings. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Rewind a second. Cheryl Hole wasn't wearing earrings for her promo. What? Yeah, I actually wrote it in my notes. I was pretty gooped and gagged. And I, I clocked this because... <gasps> She's yeah, not. I know. And you know what's so funny is I I only realized rewatching Call Me Mother that I didn't wear earrings in my finale performance. So maybe she just forgot because they're relatable. <laughs> but like she's not wearing an earring. It would have been great with like a little star earring with to go with her shield. Oh, that would have been fear. Anyway, you're gonna hear first, folks. Uh, Cheryl Hole didn't wear an earring for her promo. But the one thing that I will say that I love the most about Jimbo the like Queen is that she was like, um, I was robbed in Canada's <laughs> Drag Race. Yeah, here to rob somebody else. I was like, <laughs> it was really funny, super entertaining. Love the character Jimbo's putting on. Uh, like this, like. It's just so good. I'm really excited. To, I'm excited to see her enter the workroom. I think, like, watching her meet the queens made me re excited to see her, like, walk in and know that everyone's just going to be literally gagged. Uh -huh. Like, literally gagged. And the looks are going to be great because she turned it on Canada Drag Race yep. season one. We talked a lot about that. Uh, the projects I think are going to come out of this are going to be, like, pretty pretty nuts pretty nuts so and especially Ow! like after priyanka's bitch i'm busy and having jimbo be the villain i'm so glad that we had that opportunity to just ask like, her the, ask her the question last week like, yeah no yeah yeah I, i'm excited i hope that she uh insert scarlet envy she's the villain of the season <laughs> she looks like in this promo it's so cool she just looks uh yeah she looks really badass so uh 10 out of 10 for Jimbo. Yeah, and Representing Jimbo Canada so so well. And she came in fourth place in uh, her original season. And like the amount of quotes that she was able to give off into this really reminded, I think, everyone. We talked about it last week, but just how memorable she was. Mm -hmm. And I, I have no doubt she'll uh, amaze us again. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, we got Lamane. Nope, we got Jujube. Oh, just kidding. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> So next up, we got Juju. We have Juju. We're going alphabetical. I see. Yes, of I course. It. I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Juju B. Let's see, Drag Race OG. Literally can't lie. Representing the United States, uh, seasons two, All Stars one, All Stars five. Was on Drag U. Was just on Queens of the Universe. Had one maxi challenge win. <laughs> what? The entire time? Yeah, just on All Star Six, she won the ball. Remember? <gasps> or five? Right. Yeah. It, the, she, she never won a challenge before that. That that was the uh, Thanksgiving to Christmas to Easter look or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And they had it was the ball. What was that ball about? It was it was the worst holiday ball in the world. I don't, oh, was was it a holiday ball? I, well, that's the only that's the only way I remember Juju's. Outfit. She she won she won in a look that was three looks that were uh, Halloween costumes. What was it a costume? I don't know what that challenge was, but she won a challenge. Everyone, she won one challenge on her like twelve seasons of Drag Race, and she has five out of five experience and five out of five reading skills, which I think is the most Juju B thing. Like I know her the most for being just so shady. She has a uh, one experience point for every season she was on. Oh my God. American All Stars, All Stars, Queen of the Universe, Drake you. <sighs> Electric chair. Uh, <laughs> I think that Juju okay. has the highest chance of winning this season. I think mark she my has words. the most chance mark my to words. lose. Yeah, mark my words she, like right now. I think Juju B will win this season. I think she has the most amount to lose because she's, she's lost so much already. 
I think she's gonna win. I hope she does. I think she's gonna win. I really hope she yeah. does. But I hope. I, don't I hope. Think. I hope. I hope. Lots of people from this season win. I love them all. But I just think she's gonna win. Who's saying something? Um, Who's coming for me? No one's coming for oh. you. Just um, Amani uh, said Juju and Jimbo in the same season. This give this is a gift to drag comedy. Icon Heidi Va. Um, I love that so much. Uh, I think it's gonna be a really funny season. Actually, I think <gasps> what? Oh my god! Someone just made a joke. They're like, can't wait to see her on Dragula next year. <laughs> Who are we talking about? Juju. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was right in front of my behalf. Um, yeah, that would be good. Juju on Dragula would be so funny. Just bring us that Mary Cherry energy. Yeah. Anyway. The J. Jolie energy. Not that. Juju B, I love, I love Juju B's cats. We're not going to go there. True. So now we have the other Canadian diva, Lemon Tondra. Le- Le- my best friend in the entire world, Lemon. The yellow Jan. Uh, as not, we don't, we don't say that in this house. No, Matt, I'm quoting Matt. Oh, we're mm. quoting someone in the chat, everyone. We're not truly evil. We don't compare queens here. We've never done that before. <laughs> Who? Us? Never. Okay, Lemon, sweet and sour, representing Canada. Canada season one had two maxi challenge wins, including a bunch of acting challenges and comedy challenges. It was just like, she excelled in comedy. And she has five out of five reading skills, uh, probably best known for her. The only thing you're fucking is stupid. stupid. And uh, five out of five dance moves. Uh, I agree. Yeah. All, dance, all of that. The dance moves are fierce. Kind of mad that they didn't, one of her things wasn't rap skills. That would have been so funny. Yeah, she's a straight up rap actress. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, maybe not actually. But <laughs> um, uh, but she won uh, the heritage moments. She won the pageant one. What else did she win? Those two. Just those two? That's yeah, yeah. it? But she did great. I think she was funny in the Snatch Game. I think she did really well as JoJo Siwa. She was one of my favorites. Like, her and Jimbo were the most entertaining people in that Snatch Game. Scarlet Bobo, yeah. like, probably. Hell. 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 And I don't know. I think it was it was just, like, a coming of times to JoJo Siwa's era right now. But true. <laughs> true. <So laughs> I'm true. really, like, a premonition of the future. Um, but I think that Lemon uh, did really well in a lot of things on the season one of Canada's Drag Race. Yes. Yeah. Um, fifth place. Fifth place. Again, a great spot to be. I think everyone's very memorable when they go home fifth. Mm-hmm. It was the makeover episode too. And honestly, it's, I love it's a very lime. Yeah, it's a very divided decision whether we like the neon hair with the flapper dress. I'm I'm here for it, but I've heard- I think at the time I like it. I think now I'm like mm, I don't get it. But uh, I think that Lemon served in every lip sync. Lip sync one of my favorite songs. Alanis Morissette. Yeah, you don't know. Yes. It's yeah, so that good. A, that was a good lip sync. One of the best lip syncs. Um, and delivered the most memorable Drag Race verse in history after the show. Oh yeah. So you Don't know what even I mean? Need to like ask for it for me to get. Yeah, it. hands up to this. Hands up to Lemon. I'm really, ju- I'm really juicing her up right now. Pun intended. Oh my god. Uh, because I don't love this look. Yeah, it's like it's I love all the looks of this promo. That's not to say that I don't. I, <laughs> I just said I don't love this look. I do not. L- it's not my favorite look. Okay. I like. I love this look, but it's not my favorite look. I feel like I need to get a little more Liddy to split this kitty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was the sound of me getting up and leaving. Uh, I think that I, she got the gladiator. This gives me gladiator. Oh, but for it, sure. Like, uh, I just, I don't know if I like the, I think it's the neon yellow hair. I know it's the staple, but I think it's the no, hair. I'm here for the, the neon hair hot. and the grac- uh, Grecian dress. What I think okay. it needs is it needs to have like strapped um, heels. Like, well, it not, oh, a, like, a Grecian, like, like, like a gladiator, heel. Yeah, gladiator, like a gladiator heel. And then okay. that would really bring and really make her look. Cause right now it's just looking like she's all like no chest, but if she had the gladiator heel, it would add uh, a little looks, bit of more balance. She looks really good. I think for me, it's honestly maybe just the jewels in the her her makeup, just the jewels in the, in the braid. Her makeup, she changed the face. It is Gorgiana. Oh, she looks. Everyone looks painted. We didn't talk about that either. I was actually creeping Jimbo's old paint too from Canada one to this. Uh-huh. Insane the difference. It's like the lashes yes. are up and like flush and gorgeous and the highlight under her brow bone is stunning and it kind of same with lemon where i think she's like really grown into like like i know what lemon looks like and will for i like she's just unforgettably lemon but um and the look is really lemon too like it is pretty great but i, I yeah i kind of wish she had more like i wish she went more fun like had structure I, but it's literally something that didn't happen so i can't critique it but she looks great and Damani just said that the things that are on her arms would look Spiky. really great on her ankles too. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. And the 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 titty plates, maybe if they're bigger, I don't know. Do the titty plates feel as if they're in the wrong spot? I don't know. 
She looks great, but she does. I'm only saying this is not a show with her. I guess she doesn't. Like, yeah, like you don't even need to ask for it for me to get it. Like, yeah. wow. I would charge. Let's. I'll give her my credit card. Okay. And so now we have oh. the another American queen, another All Stars queen. Uh, the artist formerly known as Monique Hart, now the one and only Mo, Mo Hart. And ooh, did I she, love it. Did she spell her? La- was her last name Hart always spelled H E A R T? I think it was H A R T. Yeah, I think she changed that because maybe uh, maybe this is like a Bernstein Bears Bernstein Bears thing. <gasps> no, just because our friend Dana Hart is use H A R T. Yeah, and she's her daughter. Monique. Yeah. So now it's like, is Dana gonna switch it over to H E A R T? But did Dana always pick the right lettering? Maybe I don't know. Dana, let us know. <laughs> we need a uh, full investigation. Okay, I'm gonna go over her. Uh, her stats. Her stats. That was my vape. Don't, don't. <laughs> uh, Mo Hart, artist formerly known as Monique Hart, representing USA. Uh, she was on season 10, All Stars 4. She had three maxi challenge wins. I think all in All Stars. Cause she was top. Yeah, cause she, was, she, she, in her original <sighs> season, she, she was making looks so on she, the runway. She's, I was giving, I like literally the most relatable energy is Monique Hart. Like, so fucking relatable. <laughs> And then that cartwheel. <laughs> and then the cartwheel is so relatable. Um, and she has five out of five vocal skills, five out of five fame level. Yeah, I love Shut Up and Kiss Me. I love Monique Hart. Um, I'm a production. Yeah, so many quotes, such great vocals. This outfit, I saw the photo and I was like, oh, and I didn't love it at, at, like, at like first impression. And then I looked at it for a second longer and it's literally, I think, my favorite. It's- and I actually, like watching it in the color was so much better. I don't think the photo does it justice. Correct. Because not all the colors are reflecting the same, but when they were shooting her in the light, she was like this like one gold, like rainbow prism goddess, it looked like. Ooh. And the purple in her hair came through and it all Ooh. came through in the dress. And I was like, eh, but, oh, her outfit, but uh, not dress, what am I talking about? Her outfit. But uh, I don't like the leggings. Fair, fair. I Th- those are like American Apparel leggings in my mind. I think that this is uh, probably the most beautiful reiteration of a Nubian queen we have probably ever seen on any of the drag televised series. N- no offense, Felicia. Like yours was fierce, but this, oh wow. God, jail. Uh, <laughs> we're not here to compare. <laughs> no, I love Felicia. Anyways, shade. I'm putting you in the shade corner. Um, this one. is this is like this is just like so good. Uh, 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 Shaco Lacey's and Nine promo was pretty fucking fantastic too. It kind of had that sort of same silhouette to it, I feel like, minus the wings. Mm-hmm. But this is the, I think, one of the best ones of this season. Work mainly it's the wings, I think, though, because they're really fancy. Anytime that you have wings, you're elevated. RuPaul you're- is like, I love yeah. that. And um, she already has a scepter. All she needs. <laughs> the scepter's great too. Is a up crown. close. Okay, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. She just needs the crown. <laughs> Oh Thank you, God. Emily, for that joke. Uh, Did you read it off the chat, Andrew? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Not this. Um, I'm excited to see Monique. She was eighth in her original season, yeah. and then she came third slash fourth place. <laughs> yeah, that's a glow up. And I think the only way up from there is literally to win. But can we talk about how only, well, I guess that makes sense. Only the American girls have been all-stars. There's no, there's no non all star American person. What are you saying? <laughs> Everyone else has been on one season, one season alone. Yes, the Americans. There's no all stars in any other franchise or yeah. any other uh, uh, extension of. Okay, the but race. then, like, no offense to Juju and Mo, why are we bringing them back? Because they deserve to be back. I think that they deserve. Well, Juju. What are you talking about? She's had five all, op- she's all had stars. They are all stars. She's had five opportunities. That's all. No, because. Literally, it's a contract girl. <laughs> Literally, in Juju B's promo, she's like, Ru, when Rue calls, you answer. And I'm like, yeah, that's because she has a gun pointed to your head. Run. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> or she's, you want a good check. I, yeah. And like, why would you not take the opportunity? Do I think Juju B is going to bring me, bring, maybe bring the most expensive looks? No, because she's done like season back to back to back to back of reality TV. She also did that TLC show with the wedding dresses, the, oh the bridal show. Juju B has done so much TV. She does not stop. So I think that she is so experienced. Like, I bet she'd be a dream to work with. I bet they're just like, bring her back so we can work with her again. Cause she's great. I, I would see it work. Anyways, I'm defending the girls. Uh, 
<laughs> now for our last <laughs> diva of the night. Okay. We have Pandrina Heels. This is great. From Thailand. This is so cool. Who's a co-host to the so show. So cool. The dynamic of like Pandrina being in this competition makes it something else, I think. Because it's like... It's fierce we, that we a, had... we've never had someone who's been a, like a host. A, we, a non-competitor. The roles have been flipped. We had Brooklyn go from competitor to host. But we've never had host to competitor. No. And that is what's really gaggy. I'm excited. Gangy. And Thailand Divas... <laughs> Bring it when it yeah. comes to performance. Well, Pangina's, I've seen like a lot of the looks from Pangina. I, I think I've watched like snippets, if not at least the first episode of one of the seasons of Thailand. And then like every runway I've watched and like I've seen all the lip syncs and stuff. Yeah. Runways, fierce. Uh, performance, fierce. Drama, fierce. The, the talent show for episode one, if they do that, which I'm really hoping that they do, gonna be fierce from Pangina alone. Yeah. 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 I'm excited to see. I hope they do a talent show first, actually. Now that yeah. you say that, I yeah. really hope they do. Um, what would everyone do? Oh my god! Uh, I think Pangina's look is giving classic Drag Race. This is, cl- she said, my assignment is I'm now a Ru girl. I'm gonna be like the Ru girl. This is like such a RuPaul look. It's mm-hmm. like the whole I, everything of it. It's like Phoenix ATL. I think <laughs> who did that? Who's someone did that on another season of Drag Race where them and Ru wore like a silver. Oh, wrap thing. Uh, the princess. Pri- it was the princess. Thank you very princess. much. Sorry, not the Phoenix. Uh, it was the princess. Uh, to pew to to the peas. Um, yeah, I get that. It's giving the princess energy when they matched with RuPaul. I, yeah, I kind of see that. And look. then I, it's just like futuristic Gaga pop princess. I love like the chain mail of it all. It's giving me a little bit of Raja too. Like, I saw. I actually saw someone. I think one of the, someone on Facebook this morning or someone I know shared something being like, "I thought this was Raja," and I was like. Yeah, I could see it. the pose, especially like the way yeah, she's positioned. It's like model esque, um, and the makeup is great. Her attitude in her confessional or her like meet the queens is really really good. Um, I'm excited to see what Pangina does, and I'm excited to see how Pangina acts and competes versus just looks right. and bring the drama because she said she's bringing the drama. Bring the drama. Yeah, bring the drama, mom. I want the drama, especially as a co-host. I'm sure she knows that she needs to bring the drama. Just so that we, like, she knows how everything runs behind the scenes. So yeah. therefore, she knows how to be the competitor, and that okay. is fierce. And, and are they gonna do a snatch game? Do we think? Yes, they have to. And please, do we think? The, please, for for Christ's sake, please never again the snatch game of love. No, yeah, no more weird snatch games. They're gonna make it weird. Uh, it's it's gonna, gonna be, be weird. like uh, the snatch game international because they've did that before, and oh. that would make it like you know kind of internationally. I feel that's like. hot goss. I think they're just gonna call it snatch game international. Um, Katie Price. Do you think there's gonna be a prize? Do we think there's gonna be a prize? I. Uh, What's the prize gonna be? They didn't announce I, it, did they? No, they haven't announced any prize, and they did say something about it's on badges. The BBC? So and yeah, and it's on the BBC. So who knows if there's actually going to be prize one? The prize is are just going to be pins that you can Maybe get Maybe it's like $10. your RuPaul. Step into this flesh suit. Oh, someone just said first episode Snatch Game manifesting. Oh. Yeah, actually, hey, I who said that? Uh, hey. Thirst trip. What? Well, I agree this with this trip. <laughs> this trip. I agree with that statement because I think that if they did Snatch Game first, it would really be the idea of this like international I guess it's not called International All-Stars. I keep thinking it's called that. It's UK versus the world. Um, But this, like, sort of international All-Star element of it would be, like, the punch would be, like, hey, welcome to the show. You're doing Snatch Game today. (laughs) Like, that would shake the girl. But that would be, like, really good because then, yeah, it would would be completely different. You could get, like, the reading challenge right off the Mm get-go, which I feel like for an All-Star season is pretty natural to do that episode one. Um, so yeah, I they'll probably do that too. I could I see them doing reading first. Um, but I think it's going to be badges. Okay. Yeah. And I'm calling it best looks. It's going to be blue hydrangea and Jimbo. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Janie could bring it though. Yep. And oh, Benjamina. We're really, she's, I think going to be the dark horse. She's going to be performance. Like, okay. Canada and Thailand performance house. The boots down. Yeah. Okramama. Oh my God. Yeah. 
Go back, go back to jail. <laughs> Do not collect two hundred. Um, yeah, excited to see some trailer of this. I'm excited to see what the stage looks like. I'm excited to see where they filmed it. Kind of curious. Uh, it was UK. in the UK, yeah. hence why it's UK versus the world. And yeah. I'm excited to see if they actually do what the internet is saying, that they will change host countries. And if so, I heard, I heard, this is alleged, that Canada is next. So I actually think that that's really fierce. I think Canada has the best set design. So I would really like to see. Ooh, who would you want to see as like, let's say they got three Canadian divas for Canada versus the world. Ooh. Who would be your three from across the seasons? Um, that's a really good question. Who do you want to see back? Uh, Cynthia Kiss. I think Cynthia Kiss. Ooh, she does. Oh, she deserves. I love it. that. Okay. Um, sorry, that's loud. That Works. <laughs> Rita Baker. And right. oh my god, this is like so Rita tough. Bit. Pythia. Down house. Okay, I'm gonna say oh, I'm really season two focused. I, I'll go completely different though from you because you already said Cynthia. I'm gonna say. Um, oh, Come on. Okay. Now I don't even know who. You got this. I'm just trying to think of who I want from season one back. I think Bobo. Bobo. Could I think be fierce. I would say Bobo. Yeah, redemption for Bobo. Just because of the fighter spirit, and I think that she would really bring it. I'm gonna say Bobo. Uh, Stephanie Prince. Okay. She would just really fight, I think. And she'd be a cool, like, kind of, like, be fighting wild to be card. on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She'd be a cool wild card because of just, like, placing and all of that jazz and how that ranks. Um, and... Eve. I got a trick up my... Eve. I think Eve would actually be great. I think I would like to see Eve back for the redemption, but also just, like, cry some more on my screen because it was really entertaining. <laughs> And I love Eve. Like, she's really, she's got some good hot takes on a lot of stuff. And uh, definitely won me over post and during on her season. Like, really. I But Cynthia, I really would like Cynthia. I think Cynthia could be <laughs> a fierce really com- person for an all-stars. I think she really represents Canada well, too. Yeah. Or Wee-wa. Okay, well, do you want to talk a little bit about 14 before we, like, do anything else? Because I feel like we should keep chatting for, like, a minute. Yeah, of course. Because um, I want to keep chatting for a minute. Yeah, we can keep chatting. Here's uh, my hot seat. What do you think about season 14? I hate, personally, that it's a two-part premiere, and I will say this only for this reason, oh. because we haven't had a regular premiere since season 11. 12 was a split. 13 was the pork chop loading dock. 14 is another split, so it just doesn't feel like continuous. But do, you, do you agree that the split is nicer to see everyone's drag? Yes, but I also don't think that the divas who got sent home are going to be sent home for good. I agree. I don't think that's, that's never when I was happen. rewatching like the some end. of the like the, the they gave the, them the full untouched moment though, which kind of convinced me. Well, yeah, but then true. the preview looks like they're bringing. Like, well, even if you spoiler. watch like some of the press week, they're like, "Who did this?" And then they're like, "Orion story," and it's like the girls from the second episode. So it's like, "Oh, you, you at this point haven't even met yeah. Orion story, so how would you know that Orion story?" I is just, the I don't stoner? think they would gut those girls so hard. Um, but, but I don't know. But. I, I just I like the split premiere promo I don't like it because we don't get into the action right away of like what the show is but you get to meet everybody who are your favorites other than cornbread because cornbread's like the one I would <laughs> cornbread for me is like the obvious front runner yeah. of the season uh, cornbread Carrie Colby Willow Pillow um, yeah and Giria and Giria I don't know if I really uh, she's she's oh. polished she's polished the personality oh. I don't know. I'm getting like a mixture the accent. of accent. I'm getting a mixture of like five different queens from her. So I no. just I don't know. I disagree. I a hard stop disagree. It's like her like she's funny, I think. I think she's gonna come up and like win a roast or something if they have a roast. Like she looks funny to me. Okay, why? Well, anyway. Okay. Uh loved Willow Pill. Yes. That 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 C U C N T performance. It was Ugh. great. It was probably the best. It was the stupidest. And her looks, like her promo look is the best. Okay, so here, we 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 hear it at The Hunt is on. Uh, like watching all of the drag content. So I watched the Joey Nolfi interview. Uh, that was messy. It was messy AF. But they said that uh, uh, Jackie Kennedy? Uh, yeah, the New York queen. Uh, and even from their promo and Meet the Queen video, is apparently drama. I hear that she brings the drama. Have you seen all of that? Yeah, I saw it, and I I don't know if I believe it. I believe it. I want to see her fight somebody. I also think Bosco's going to get in a fight with somebody because she was oh, acting totally. mighty confident on episode totally. one. I was oh, like, you got so it. Confident. You were not winning that challenge. So in Untucked, stop. she was like, no, I need more attention onto me. And she's like, great. I'm like, you're going to get so much love. You're amazing. Uh, <laughs> you're great. Um, oh but God, yeah. a song with Evie? Willow? Or yeah. 
I think. Have you heard it? Yeah, is it the bump? Is it the one? The watermelon one? I don't know. I don't know. I have Avi's album. I think on my phone. Not on my. Spotify. They need to put a veto on lip sync for the talent show acts. I agree because oh, I fully agree with that part. Like um, uh, premiere two, literally the three that were in the bottom were the only ones who did not do a lip sync. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I also had a lot to say about this. A talent show. I mean, not to mix franchises. But, but we did a talent show on Call Me Mother. Yeah. And we did not have the honor <laughs> of getting, like, music that was, like... Oh, yeah, copyrighted. Was, like, copyrighted. Or, like, yeah, that wasn't, like, wasn't, like, royalty-free. Free. Yeah, so uh, I am, like, kind of mad that some of the girls... I'm not kind of mad. That's pushing it. But I'm, like... It's, like, a bummer to see someone just do a lip sync in my mind to a song. Like, I like that Carrie Colby did Anaconda with a jump rope. So I actually do kind of... I'm, like, you know what? Like, Daya Betty, like, I love that she had the kind of gags and reveals, but, like, give me, give me more. I was actually surprised that she didn't do, like, you know, Crystal did Fit Phil. I'm surprised that Daya Betty didn't do something campy along that line. I honestly kind of think that's what Orion was trying to do. Um, True. But it was giving me very that. But, um... Yeah, I'm not into this whole. I don't know. I feel like don't give them good songs. Make them work for it more because then you get you end up with shitty comedy acts. Yeah, I, and I would rather a shitty comedy act Absolutely. where an earring falls off. Yeah, than a, a lip sync to something that we've seen. And I would agree that Carrie oh. should have been um, jump roping from the beginning. Yeah. Oh my god, I was listening to the uh, Two Spirit Tea podcast with yeah. Ella and Sima. It's so funny. They give some pretty fun good comedy. Shout out to Emma and Sima because I was I just caught up on that full their full podcast series, and they did all the Call Me Mother clips, and it was pretty funny watch hearing them critique the talent show. <laughs> I'm like, I want to hear what they have to say about this season, but uh, yeah, talent shows are talent shows are always a uh, a risky thing. Also, I'm gonna be in Kelowna in like six days with Ella. Yeah, right before we film our next podcast. Yeah, this episode will be out, and I'll be in Kelowna, baby, with Scarlett Bobo, Toddy, Ella, and some of the local divas. Todd, yeah. <laughs> Todd, Todd. No, I was just about to be like Toddy, but you are Toddy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we love we Stan, um, which I'm super excited for. Emily says hey, that uh, she loves the mustache, but she can't take you seriously with it. Oh, work! I know I kind of look like a kids like TV show host with the shirt and mustache right now. I'm like, welcome to YTV. Come on, Priyanka. Yeah, very that energy. Except Priyanka won her season. Oh my! God. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you fuck! <laughs> oh my god! You know what, Andrew? <laughs> that's so fucking nasty to say. <laughs> that's that's uh, over the line. You Yo. walked past the line. You broke the line. You know, it's been a month, literally, since your deep. Oh yeah, I actually I was listening to. Oh my god, I was listening to the Cut the Creeps podcast, and I was like, oh maybe I was a diva because <laughs> Jerry was like uh, saying on the podcast describing my experience, which was that I did cancel all my numbers after I lost. That's such a fun fact. I think that's so. <laughs> That, that is so diva, diva of yeah, me for I, sure. I lost, I lost, and then Toddy, and, Toddy, and I were like, "Let's stay on stage together, and we'll do a bunch of photos with everyone." And I think I said like two things on the mic. I did. I don't know. If, I don't know if we performed right away. We might have done "Breaking Free" right away. Our, yeah, you our did. performance together with "Breaking Free," and then I think right after that, I just walked off the stage, went upstairs in the Fox Cabaret, which is like this really old theater in downtown Vancouver. And uh, I sat, I sat by myself until Alma came in and was like, "Are you okay?" <laughs> and then I was like, "I need to cancel every all my performances." Yeah, and honestly, that's kind of fair. But at uh, least you got to show up. And, and then you know, up for but then I, I was extra diva. And right before someone's like last performance, I was like, I "Actually, need to perform both my songs, and they need to be back to back, and they're going to be different." <laughs> Than what you originally planned? Yeah. Oh my god. But I had a U- I had a USB, so I was like, I think the tracks okay. maybe. I don't remember actually. I think I was I was crying. I don't remember. Um But it was really fun. And you know what? I was modeling my behavior after when Alaska lost season five. Yeah. And she had like a full diva fit, but like kind of on purpose. I was kinda of living for that. I was like, I wanna have it. Let me have my moment. Honestly, live, laugh. Yeah love and then we ate like two hundred dollars worth of mcdonald's had a really good after party and uh it was a really good day it was really fun honestly <laughs> but traumatic but, <laughs> and it is crazy that it's been a month yeah and maybe we'll talk more about coming mother because we talked about it on youtube but i feel like in the podcast i can maybe be a little bit more divulgent in what i want to talk about sure um, and also catch us next week oh yeah because next week actually we're going to talk about coming mother because next week Spoiler alert, we're bringing it over. Should we say it? 
Yeah. We're bringing Kiki Ko onto the pod, baby. Woo. We're going to have a little interview with Kiki Ko from Call Me Mother. Fellow runner up. Next week. Yeah. And we have some cheese spill because uh, I'll say it right now. Kiki watched the finale before it like aired. Yeah. Crazy. That's crazy to me. I want to ask her never. about that. Yeah. Oh, good questions to ask. Yeah. If you have any questions. Yeah. For Kiki Ko or anything Call Me Mother related. You'll have like two days when this podcast comes out to send them to us yeah or if you're here right now or if you're here right now but we record on mondays and we put this podcast out on fridays so when this episode comes out if we include this bit in it then you should send us uh some questions to the hunters on instagram or like whatever any social media platform you can literally just dm me or andrew too but um yeah we're gonna interview kiki we're gonna talk about call me mother drama which you maybe you didn't see uh listening to ella's podcast i was like ooh, okay let me let me hear what you talked about so i know what i should talk about i do have one question that i really want to ask kiki but i'm gonna wait until then okay why would you even? ask her what she spent oh my god money no like nothing i think though i literally think she spent like well actually that's a lie she spent a lot of money um but i actually don't know i don't know her expenses but i feel like we're gonna ask she made a lot of her stuff she made all her stuff yeah she she's crazy how much she makes fun fact i'm gonna spoil things already fun fact the fucking boat on her head the gondola was made out of a dollar store mat like a dollar store foot mat <laughs> i think it's good to call it uh, a quit here well, thank you everyone for listening to The, the hunt, hunt is on. on. Oh my god, we did that so good. It's the first um, time. But The Hunt is off because we're, we're done. It's the end of the episode. That was UK versus the world and other chat. Yeah. And, and thank you so much to everybody who joined in the live chats of either Valerie's YouTube stream or my Twitch stream. Yeah, thanks, Divas. You're literally the reason I'm living and breathing and alive. Uh, and if you stop, then I will die, so... Make sure that you follow all of us on all, all of our social medias. Uh, the Hunt is on Instagram. The Hunt is on Twitter. No pressure. You can also just find our own individual Instagram and Twitter stuff, too. Yeah. You know what? The buttons are there. You know what to do. And now that you have a link tree, Val. Oh, my God. Now that I have a link tree, Andrew's really setting me up. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. The Hunt, the hunt is, is on. on. Bye. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks for joining on Twitch. <laughs>